If you're an early Hololive fan, chances are you found Hololive through this clip. You guys may or may not know this, but it was this clip, this game, and this epic gamer word that was the ultimate deciding factor to determine a Hololive without Sakura Miko and a Hololive with Sakura Miko. It was this clip that propelled her into stardom, as well as what brought a lot of foreign eyes into Hololive in general. Without this historical moment, Hololive, and Miko most especially, wouldn't have grown as exponentially as she did. This is why Miko loves GTA V so much, as even she is aware that much of her success can be attributed to this moment. However, to truly understand the impact of such a clip, we are going to have to rewind to few years back. So strap in ladies and gentlemen. Watson, may we use your time traveling powers to take us there? Uh, time traveling powers? Uh, okay. Sure. <laughs> A young woman is walking around somewhere in Tokyo when a rather opportunistic fellow took notice. Hello there, said the man approaching her in a suave and confident manner. Yeah, hello, said the young girl. Do you need something? We would like you to join our company and become a 3D live streamer like Kizuna Ai. Interested? We have also started auditions for our first generation, and it would be grand if you were to join. Do I have to audition too? I mean, no offense, but I- No, 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 you won't need to. I already filled up your form and everything. You'll be taken care of. Well, that's- Wait, you already filled the forms? How would you know my personal info- That's not important, Miko. Are you in or are you out? I'm in. And so Miko started working on her character and cover started on her model. And came the 1st of August in 2018, she finally debuted. <laughs> this was Sakura Miko's first stream. Originally, she was supposed to be a successor of popular 3D skit VTubers like Kizuna Ai, Mirai Akari, and Kaguya Luna. However, she would face hiccups a bit more so than others. She was the slowest growing VTuber in the company, and to say that Miko's project was a colossal failure would be an understatement. Miko, despite working directly under Cover Corp and having an entire team of her own, just wasn't doing as great. In this same year, on the 25th of December, Miko would be released from under direct management of Cover Corp and moved to Hololive, but not as a typical streamer. Instead, she joined Hololive to be the main cast of her own slice of life 3D skit show called Miko no Tsutume. <laughs> Which is, in a sense, a progenitor of Hollow no Graffiti. But soon that also failed, as within two months on the 8th of February in 2019, the show would also get cancelled. Despite everything Miko has done up to that point, Miko failed in every single department, and she has expressed her desire to quit during these two events, and would have actually done so without the encouragement of her senpais like Subaru and Mio. However, even with their support, Miko's patience and motivation could only last for so long, and her channel's future was still very bleak. Why, hello there, Miko. How are things going? Be quiet. You lied to me, Yago. You made me feel special. But it turns out I'm not. Your company is full of talented people and then among them I'm nothing. Nothing is working. Well, you know what? Since the skits and the Kizuno Ai kinds of videos aren't working, why don't we you why don't you just play video games like everyone else? Yeah? Games like what? Like this. Are you in a strip club? Wow, nice hit! I love you. Oh my god! No! No! Oh my god! Stay home! Hey! Hey man! Hey man! Go! Stay 
Ben Johnson. After that clip, Miko had a pretty significant increase in viewership and subscribers. Where usually the average subscriber rate was around 2,000 to 3,000, that one clip alone caused her to grow up to 13,000. And then slowly, as that clip was getting discovered by more and more people, Miko eventually cemented herself as one of the more memeable Hololive members. And ultimately, that's one of the most effective ways to get big in the internet, especially to Western audiences. Miku says this herself by remarking that her GTA 5 streams were usually filled with overseas viewers. From here on out, more people started to take interest in Miku and have started keeping an eye on her for moments to keep ever since. Without GTA 5, without this clip, and without this legendary clipper, Sakura Miku may have left Hololive by now. Her story is the biggest comeback in VTuber history as of the moment, and this story is yet to be over. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this episode of VTuber History, please like and subscribe. See you all later.